Assemble the floor frame and set it on the 4x4s. Be sure to check the frame is square by measuring diagonally across the corners. You know you're square when the measurements are exactly the same. Now that our floor is built, it gives us a solid work surface to build our walls on. We'll build our back wall first. Since the back and front walls are tall, it's easier and safer to build these while they're on the floor. When the back wall is built, flip it over. It will be in the correct position to stand. Build the front wall and then the side walls. And now our walls are right where they need to be for standing. So let's begin by standing our back wall. Next, stand both side walls and then finally the front wall. Make sure you assemble the rafter halves the same for an even, smooth roof. Build and install the loft supports and the loft panel. Our veneer is really taking shape. Let's go ahead and put on the roof panels. The shed doors come pre-assembled with the six-foot continuous galvanized hinges attached. It's a great time saver and makes installing fast and easy. Center the doors in the opening and screw in place. Then finish the doors by adding the door hardware. Finish the front and back walls by adding some trim. Pick some shingles to match your home or give the Rainier a unique look. Install the starter row and shingle the roof to the manufacturer's instructions. We suggest caulking, which protects the shed and gives you a great looking paint job. And the siding is pre-primed, making painting a faster job. Doesn't that look great? Heartland, the backyard storage experts with affordable shed kits that are easy, fast, and you can do it yourself.